Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are back at Ranger HQ, and I just did the level ups for these three, so let's take a quick look at what I chose. So for uh, Professor Higgs here, I chose Animal Whisper and Weird Science, because they only cost two when you had four points. And so I got those up to five. So that seems pretty good. I also gave him an attribute point in... Hmm, luck, I do believe. I gave him. And for perks, did he get anything? Yes, he did. He got Spirit Animal. So Animal Companions provide you with better passive bonuses, which is kind of nice. Then for Quan here, I did... Automatic Weapons. Got them up one. So they're now at six as well. For the attributes, I gave him some awareness or some more. Or actually, no, I gave him coordination because then he gets one more action point. So that's kind of nice. And for a perk, I gave him a sneaky shit here. A second chance. Think you've been spotted? Freeze. Hold your breath and wait a beat. Uh, so, protection time plus one second. For Lucia, I gave her weapon modding and barter. So, that was pretty nice. Uh, get some better prices. And we got a new perk, which I also chose. I'll show you that in a second. I gave her one point in strength. To give her a bit more health. She only had 72. Now she has uh, as max. Now she has 95 as a max. I think that's worth it. And I think I might go one or two more in strength for her. Just to get her uh, health up a little bit. For perks we went with this guy. Weapon experts just know what to look for. When they find a gun. Your entire party finds plus 25% bonus ammo. When looting at a minimum of plus one. Which is very nice. So, yeah, that's what we did. And we are here, so let's go talk to Gary Nasal Wolf and give him October 11th's head. Synth in Colorado Springs yet? Here's its head. Here, where's the bounty? Huh. No muss, no fuss. How about that? All right, then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Mm. You don't seem like the, to like the Rangers much. You sure you want to hang around? You don't seem to like the Rangers, Rangers much. The squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here. So I'm giving you a chance. Hmm. Fine, you can stay. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how'd you like to pick up a few more bounties? Well, that's what I was hoping for. What are the bounties? Like I told you. Since communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Uh, give us the locations, we'll get the Great. synths. Now, let me just crack this egg. Wolf takes the head, expertly opens it, then wires it to a portable computer in his backpack and begins to poke and prod. After a few minutes, he nods and turns the screen toward you. It shows a map dotted with flickering lights. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. One looks real close to Denver. Anything you can tell us about it? How about 
that one's that the one that's a little further out from Denver. There's one in the Aspen area that keeps flickering. One looks real close to Denver. Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. Okay. There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Interesting. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. Uh, there's one in the Aspen area that keeps flickering. Signal's imprecise. Bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. Okay, thanks for Great. the The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, how much money do we have? 1,232, and we have a ton of junk as well. Keeping the refugees here is just temporary, right? Yeah. All right, let's decommission some of these ice axes, because they are just... We have a ton of them. Uh, field strip. Yes. Uh, I actually want to do it with you, don't I? Because you are our... No, you're armor modding, which we do need to get up. And she does have a level, so let's get that up and we'll save the other two points. Um, hmm. I think we'll give you speed. Yeah, speed. And here, blood sport. Attacks with blunt weapons quickly hit stun and blind enemies. Zero point five percent combat speed when you have two melee weapons equipped. We do that have that all the time, so let's grab that. Uh, you are our weapon modder. Yep. So, fuel strip. Yes. Fuel strip. Yes. Heavy weights gained. Nice. Okay, let's take a quick look. You have 34 to 42, 28 to 38 on the slashing weapon. 19 to 26 only. So, field strip. Yes. And we have a ton of armor. Road sign cleaver, 28 to 39. It's a bladed weapon. This is 28 to 38. Base hit chance. Uh, Let's see. Road sign cleaver. Oh, it's not the bone crusher I want. It's this thing. Let's just swap swap him over. And so the road sign cleaver is definitely better. And it has a, an ability. So the road sign thing will definitely get striking distance. Carrying two melee weapons just makes you more aerodynamic. It's physics. Yeah. Okay, so we can break this down. I want you to be doing this. Uh, this one can be stripped down as well. Grooved grip. Okay. We don't have any brawlers, so let's field strip that as well. We already have a better weapon than that. 
31 to 39. 34 to 42. Okay, so the rib cracker is actually better. The rib cracker is actually better. Yeah. Okay. We'll strip that. Okay, we have some sniper rifles. We have quite a few sniper rifles, actually. 40, 47, 54 to 62, 49 to 67. That one has an ability. The other two don't. And that one is 240. So we'll keep that in case we find a sniper that we want. Okay. We have a couple of flamethrower, right? Yeah. 15 to 21. 18 to 25, 20 to 30. Wheel strip, yes. Wheel strip, yes. Then we have three of these guys, the Tommy guns. Might as well field strip a couple of those. Okay, I think that's it for now. Let's take a look at you. You have the war pig, but we have the Bren, which is worse. And then we have the Argon Lance, which takes energy cells. And the hit chance goes down, the crit chance goes down. It does nice damage against robots, vehicles, and synths. Hmm, I think we'll keep that around. The Bren, though, can go away. That's 7.62 ammo, that's 7.62 ammo. So, field strip, yes. Okay. That was a bit of maintenance. Let's go get healed up. First things first. We are basically healed, but we do have some... What do you need, Rangers? That's what you pay me. Have a seat some permanent damages so there we go never mind cut don't stitch it why did Lucia not get fixed up come on doc not sure how I feel about killing synths but if doing so keeps humans safe I'm not going to argue about it what okay, do you need good. Rangers you like of course up. have a seat can you please heal up Lucia as well? That would be much appreciated. I Thank you. I never do. Alright, let's go into the armory. Well, it's a tight fit, but just seeing them refugees warm and toasty eases my mind. Okay. Uh, so us what Happy we've got. To. Take a look. Hey, let's sell all our junk. It's 775 we have now. That's not bad. That's a nice sniper rifle. Pump shotgun. Hmm, battle rifle. I think we have something similar. Swat, SWAT rifle. Hmm. Hmm. 
SWAT rifle. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at ammo. Could do with some more energy cells. Hmm. Let's get 40. We could do with some more of that ammo as well. The rest I think we're good on. Yeah. I think we're good. Okay, let's see. So me, I have an assault rifle, pulse gun, 9 to 21, and a winter warrior, 10 to 11. What does Marshal Kwan have? The convincer, 11 to 13. And then he could have that as well as a secondary. Let's see, he has those. Uh, this actually needs to go to Seuss, I think it is, because he's our mechanic, right? Uh, yep, yeah. and he leveled up. Uh, I think we'll take explosives. Just to get him up in that, and then we'll give him... coordination and strength. Hmm. I think we'll give him strength. No awareness. Awareness. And then we have a perk. Nerd stuff. Uh, hack robots emit an electric burst every turn, dealing energy damage to enemies nearby. That's actually kind of nice. And there's a famous two-step defense against oncoming fireballs. Uh, disarming landmines has a 33% chance to drop a grenade. That might be nice. You no more longer set off landmines when stepping on them. Okay. Uh, Deployables gain plus 25 percent con. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the grenade stuff. I don't feel like we get a lot of grenades. Do we have any grenades? We have confetti grenades. Woo! Um, that's about it. Uh, that increases sneaky shit. That's brawling. And that's kiss ass. But we're gonna save them up. Because it was a mistake using the others. We have three frag grenades. So. Let's stick a frag grenade in there. You can have a frag grenade. Okay. Let's go back to dock and buy some... I want to buy some of the med hypos. Need, Rangers. Sure. I want to get some of these. And... I think we'll buy ten. And can we sell these confetti grenades to him? Don't give us... I don't really think we need those. 
And there's the shrink grenades. What does shrunk do, though? I wish I knew what it did. Okay, so med hypos. You get one. You get one. You don't get one, sorry. You get one. You get one. And you get one. Alrighty. Well. The sailor. Valid cannon, the Patriarch string. The sun has allied himself with the Gippers in Denver. Reagan fanatics have cut off the oil supply for Colorado Springs, and the Patriarch wants both his son and the oil back. Travel to Denver. Okay. But we have the travel to the Bazaar first. And we get the Ranger mechanics. So I think that's what where we're going first. If we can find it, because we don't have any mechanics that that's just Jody Bell. Let's talk to Sergei and see what he has to say. People are talking about how you cleared those Dorseys out of the garden. You're doing God's work here, Rangers. Uh, okay. Nothing. I'll be here. Let's talk to the Corporal. Always a pleasure. Um, okay. Anytime. Nothing. Wow! Look at that. Seven A. Seven A. Check. Thirteen C. Uh huh. Thirteen C. One B. One B. Got it. Two B. Hmm. I was not expecting that. Two B. Are you sure? Up. Uh, uh, found it. Sorry. Two B. Good. Okay. Four A. Yep. Four A. Hey, Rangers! Hope you like what I've done with the space. Yeah, I do. A memorial plaque is fixed to the base of the holographic projector. Okay, Prasad Memorial, Major Prasad, rest in peace. Nice. I like it. There's a disco bot. A plaque next to the disco bot reads, recovered after the Little Vegas nightclub was shut down. Okay. Let's try clicking here. Robot mascots of pre-war PSAs, Peek and Poke, were meant to show the right and wrong ways of preparing for the end of the world. Each vignette humorously contrasted Noble Peek's forethought and generosity and Poke's short-sightedness and greed. Since the deluge, the billboards have been often modified by survivalists who change the art and the message to suit the times, resulting in a darker humor than the original creators ever intended. Cool. Okay, what's over here? Nothing much. I like it. Good work. Okay, let's see. That's just there. What do we have in here? Hey, can I borrow your mirror again? No. Sure, whatever you need. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Right, well, Del, I don't really want to talk to her right now. I think it's time to travel, guys. Out of town. Because we don't have any missions in town anymore. Just don't. And that is kind of sweet. So let's head in here and grab our vehicle. Well, I guess. We're almost out of time, so I think next time we will do the whole travel thing. 
so yeah thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time